Hi there, this is, this is Johnny at Man Machine. This video is going to be on cloud models inside of Revit and BIM 360 Docs. Uh, so what I've got here is the sample model uh, that comes with Revit. And what I'm going to be doing is just uploading this onto BIM 360 Docs and then working on it directly via um, the servers at BIM 360 Docs side. So this at the moment is a local file and what I can do is I can go to save as and here I have cloud model. Uh, so what this is going to do is save this model as a cloud model somewhere on BIM 360 Docs depending on where I want it to go. So what I'll quickly do is just go through uh, the processes of uploading it and then how this benefits the users um, actually once it's up on there. So I'm going to load this into one of my hubs where I have a project for my training project. And so I'm going to load this into the project files area, into my work in progress, uh, into my architects here. And I'll just keep it as RAC base example file, but this is where I'd rename it. So what I'm going to do now is click save. And this is going to upload this model to the cloud. Okay, so that's finished uploading. So the model is now saved to the cloud. I can hit close. And what will happen if I close this down and I go back to my home page, you'll see here that my model has now got a little cloud next to it, which suggests that it's a, a, a cloud-based model. And what I can actually do is I can enter my BIM 360 Docs projects down here at the bottom. So I could, if I wanted to, go to that specific file via uh, this route down here. So this is quite a new feature. Um, which allows me to find any of my cloud models that I'm working on so I can open them up directly. So I can see here, I've got my cloud model and I can just select that and then that's going to open that up and I can start working on it then directly to the server. And so to manage this inside of, uh, from a Revit point of view, I can use my um, manage cloud models to be able to choose uh, what I'm uploading and when I'm publishing and which projects I'm uh, actually working on. You can also change your published settings as well. So if you don't want to publish all of your drawings into BIM 360 Docs, you don't have to. You can choose what you're going to actually include in sets. So you don't have to include all of your views. You can just create the sets that you want to upload, the 3D views that you want to upload, and just upload those. So you're only sharing exactly what you need. Looking at that from BIM 360 Docs point of view, that RAC basic sample model project that I uploaded to uh, my work in progress in my training project, if I was a user who didn't use Revit, perhaps maybe a project manager or some uh, maybe a customer who doesn't have Revit, can't view that um, in the design software, I can view that online. And if I had uh, uploaded any of the 2D sheets, I'd also be able to view those that I'd chosen to be able to view um, as the publisher from Revit. Um, so that's just a quick demo on cloud models within uh, BIM 360 Docs and Revit. Very new feature, very useful. Um, to be able to get to those files directly inside of Revit's home interface now um, and also see what you're actually working on in terms of a cloud product. So I hope that's been useful. If you have any questions, please do get in touch with us here at Man and Machine.